Welcome back to my channel everyone, Tiff Benson here and in today's video we are going to discuss Percival from Parfum de Marly. So if you want to hear my thoughts, make sure you keep watching. Some awesome news to share with you, I will be hosting an event this week, this Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m at Oswald's in New York City. Make sure you come out, have a drink with us, get to experience some new fragrances. I'm so excited. I'm like over the moon. This is my first event that I'll ever, that I've ever hosted on my own. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited to see all my people come out. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully I will get to help you find a fragrance that you love and we get to celebrate a new launch of something super special. So make sure you RSVP if you haven't done so already. Also, keep up with your girl on Instagram. I'm super up to date with my Instagram. I'm always posting there. So if I'm not here on YouTube, make sure you follow me there and say hello. Leave a comment right now and let me know, is Percival on your to try list? And if you've already tried it, please let us know what are your thoughts in the comments. I'm so curious to hear what you think. A lot of people in the fragrance community are completely divided over this baby. So yeah, let me hear what you got to say about it. Okay, so let's get into a quick note breakdown. Percival has notes of bergamot, mandarin, aromatic notes, jasmine, violet, geranium, lavender, pink pepper, cinnamon, musk, woody notes, spices, nutmeg, pepper, tonka, coriander. This is a pretty exciting launch for Parfum de Marly because this is a totally different direction that the company is going in for this new release. First of all, is a fresh aromatic scent. I'm actually wearing it right now and I will give it another spray. Just so you can see my um, impressions of me smelling it. I like this scent. I mean, what can I say? It is a gorgeous scent. It's very, it's very likable and it's very pleasing. It's not something that's overdone. And as I was doing some research on it, some people say that it smells like Mont Blanc Legend or Platinum Egoist by Chanel. Um, I don't really think it smells like either of the two, but I do see some similarities. It is super fresh, super wearable, um, easy to wear, and it's also really strong. So let's get into the breakdown of all things Percival. Longevity. It lasts forever. I mean, for a freshie, eight hours plus. It is spicy, little spicy, little musky, little citrusy, and super fresh, and it lasts. So that's a plus. As far as sillage, people will smell this around you. This is not something that is tame and shy. People definitely get whiffs of this as it warms up on your skin, as you walk by, as you go out to shake a hand, as you go in to reach for a hug. This scent likes to be noticed and people will notice you in it. As far as uniqueness, this scent is something that we've may have smelled before, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's pleasing, it's comfortable, it's something that is not gonna take us out of our comfort levels when we wear it. It's just overall really easy to wear, grab and go, elevated scent that smells great and people will like. Which leads me to my next point, compliments. Oh yes, I definitely see you getting compliments if you're into fresh scents. I mean, because this fragrance projects so well and because it's kind of on um, the stronger side for a freshie, people will definitely smell this around you and they won't be able to help themselves when it comes to giving you compliments about it. It's a people pleaser. We all will know this once we get our hands on it to smell it. When you get your hands on it to smell it, please let me know if you think it's a people pleaser and if it will garner compliments. Will you stand out? 
yes my darling you will definitely stand out it is again because of the strength and the power of this fragrance it will allow you to stand out also because it's a people pleasing scent it's it's a freshy that does its job and lasts long you will get compliments and you will stand out. It's not the most unique scent that comes from the house of Parfum de Marly. However, it is unique to them in the sense that they're doing something very different. They're going in a different direction for this release, um, a more approachable um, take on a fresh fragrance that's easy to wear. And I think that's a good thing. Fragrances like these I would describe as gateway fragrances, fragrances that are easy to wear, a fragrance that's easy for someone who is not familiar with the House of Parfums de Marly to be able to wear it and appreciate it and experience it without feeling overwhelmed or put off by all the different diverse niche scents that they already have. It's, it's very approachable and I like that about this scent. I actually really like that a lot. Let's talk about wearability and flexibility when wearing it. All seasons, I could see this being worn in all seasons, again because it's a freshy and it's an aromatic citrusy freshy. It's just, I know I keep saying it, but it is very easy to wear. It, you know, all seasons definitely will be amazing in the summer. Um, I could see it working very well in the fall season as well. You know, when you want to feel good and you want to feel clean, clean but a little bit more, you know? Clean, like an interesting high-end clean fragrance. This is your guy. Parfum de Marly kind of has this um, reputation of being an elegant, classy brand where, you know, their fragrances are just so sophisticated. And I, I definitely feel like if you're someone who likes a sophisticated touch to your fragrances and you care about that sense of class and prestige and you want to get that out of your perfume or cologne, definitely give this house a try. Would I recommend this scent? I absolutely would. It is a beautiful, gorgeous scent. Definitely worth trying, definitely worth getting your nose on. Um, you might already own something like this in your fragrance wardrobe, which is why I think if you're in the New York City area, you should come out, smell it, give it a try, try it on the skin, let me smell it on you <laughs> at Oswald, October 18th. Again, I will be there with Parfum de Marly and Yvonne, the creative director. We're super excited to bring this to you and share this with you. I'd love to hear your feedback. It's super interesting for me to know what you guys think about it. So again, don't forget, leave a comment and let me know if you'll be trying it and what are your thoughts. Conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society, my private group online where we talk all things fragrance. I will leave a link in the description so that you can request an invitation to my private group right now. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you. And yeah, I hope to see you at the event this Thursday. Bye.